Okay, guys, this video, we're going deep. We're going to be talking about the internals of JSX and how the internals of JSX actually translate in the world of TypeScript, some of the things that you should look out for, and how this relates to the tsconfig file in our newly created project. So as we all know, I'm assuming you are a beginner jo React JavaScript developer thus far, you've probably come in contact with JSX. JSX looks like HTML. It's pretty much React's version of HTML. But what a lot of people don't really realize is that underneath the hood, there's magic going on. There's all types of cool things going on. And you would think that this is... be Technically, this is going to be translated into HTML. This is going to show up as HTML in your browser. But what a lot of people don't really realize is that there's all types of little conversions going on. You don't need to know a great deal about it, but just really realize that this JSX is pretty much a smokescreen for this right here. This is going to be translated into this or in a newer React project, it's going to look more like this over here, which we'll talk about. It's actually going to look more like this, but just for brevity's sake and so that I don't actually confuse a lot of people, we'll just say that it looks like this. So this is going to create a lot of confusion when you are working in TypeScript because you're going to be seeing all these crazy types. You're going to be seeing these words like intrinsic elements. You're going to be seeing these things called value-based elements. And what you need to know is that intrinsic elements are just the most simple form of JSX. Intrinsic elements, kind of the way that they sound, they are intrinsic to the actual code base, is that they're just going to look like this. You don't actually create them. They are created for you. A div is created for you. And what's going on underneath the hood is that it's being converted into this right here. It's going to be converted it's going to go in as a string and it's going to be passed to this little converting React JavaScript mechanism. And JavaScript, React's going to do all the work for you and display it onto the web page. But another important thing you need to realize is that there's also value-based elements. And value-based elements are components that you actually create. And they're not that much different, but they're going to be functions that are going to be passed into the React create element just like this. And this is important because when you're actually coding React TypeScript, you're going to see these types a lot. You're going to see these in errors a lot. And it's important that you understand the difference between them so that you can correctly diagnose what's going on and you can kind of form your own conclusions very easily. And lastly, we're going to talk about the TS config. Now, there's this thing called React Preserve. And if you go into your TS config right here, and you look down, what you're going to see is that right now we are using React JSX and our TS config. And this is going to be the newest version. React recently switched everything into this actual transformation right here. So technically underneath the hood, what's going on is it's going to be translated into this. And React did this so that you don't have to actually import React at the top of every single file in your code base. Also, it makes it more future-proof, and a lot of the newer uh, features are going to be based upon this right here as opposed to this. So if, you, so if you're ever using React in a newer code base, I would just go with this. I would not go with Preserve. Preserve is, is, preserve is if you are very advanced and you want to actually configure the Babel and you want to do all of this. I wouldn't recommend this either. I would recommend that you go with React JSX because this is the newest way of doing it. And I've never coded React Native, so I don't know anything about this right here. But that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and let's actually create some JSX of our own and just make a very simple component. Okay, so we are inside of our app and I'm actually not gonna delete anything. I'm not a big deleter. A lot of people love to delete all the files, but what I like to do is just right off the bat, I like to create a components and pages folder. You could just call it page or just component, but I like components and pages. And we're not going to create a page just yet, but what we're gonna do is we're going to create a card folder and populate it with our actual TSX file. So I'm going to go card dot 
TSX and card dot CSS. We will talk about components here in just a second, but let's go ahead and use our TS RAFC and that's going to create a nice component for us. Like I said, we'll talk about components here in a second. Right now, we're just going to talk about JSX and just add a little bit of JSX of our own. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to create a div. I'm going to give this a class name of card. And we're going to go ahead and close that out. Also going to go ahead and add an image. And if you want to, you can add an image of your own. But I'm going to copy and paste an image in there. I'll leave a link for the GitHub repo down in the description. And that'll just give us a nice little image. You could even just put no image in there if you want to. You could just make it a card with just uh, actual text in it and no image. But it's I think it's always good to add an image. And I'm going to go into here. I'm going to add another class name. I'm going to give this details. Go ahead, close this out. And within our details, I'm going to add an H2. Give this a, since this is going to be a stock, we'll call this Apple like this. So Apple and go down here, put a P tag, and then we'll put a price of $110. So go ahead, have that. And also let's go ahead and add another P tag and we'll add a nice little description in here. So we'll say class name, we'll say info like this and we'll just type in lorem we'll just type in lorem 10 just like that put a little bit of lorem ipsum in there let's see i spelled that wrong so we'll say info next thing that we want to do is we're going to have to put this actual card into our app and we have all of this stuff in our app this is just gener auto generated by react and i'm going to go go into here and i'm going to go ahead and bring in the card.tsx so we'll say card.tsx we'll go ahead and click on this part right here and add it it will automatically import everything for us we can get rid of this as well too then we can go then what we can do is we can cd into our front end also make sure that you cd into the front end if you don't cd into the front end you're going to get an error and then we'll go ahead and run npm start spelled it tart there but it's supposed to be start so go ahead run npm start might get a couple little flashes of kind of i wouldn't say strange looking errors but you'll get just little errors and we have our card right here. And it's going to be a ship of Apple that doesn't really relate to Apple. And this looks pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead into our CSS file. And I'm going to add a little bit of CSS. Okay, so in order to add our CSS, the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually import it into our card TSX. So we need to import the CSS into the TSX file. And the way that we do that is very simple. We just go into here and we import it through the dot slash because it's within the same folder. So that's pretty much the reason that we created this folder right here. And if your CSS does not show up, it's probably indicative that you spelled something wrong or this import did not go as planned. Also, I'm going to go into here, get rid of a lot of this app CSS because it's a good possibility that it could conflict. And I'm also going to get rid of the index CSS so that it doesn't conflict with any of the CSS that we're about to write because we're about to just copy and paste our own into there. Now you could go into the actual uh, CSS file. You could create your own CSS, but most people I encounter on my channel don't like to actually write CSS. So what I've done is I've just went ahead here and created all the CSS for you. And if you want to, you can just go to my GitHub, go ahead and copy it. And I'll leave a link down in the description below. So you can go ahead and you can get that. So let's go ahead. Let's fire it up here. Let's see what we have. Let's make sure that our CSS file is working as correctly. And if I go into here, you see we go ahead we refresh it we get the cs we get a nice little card right here we get our apple stock 
and we get a nice little representation of what we are about to build. Okay, so that's gonna be the video, our very first video where we actually code. If you like this, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.